Hey guys, Gus Mitchell here. Uh, I'm out in the bee yards finishing up on some mite washes and treatments. But I wanted to talk to you about this shrub called groundsel. Uh, it's really windy, so please excuse the, the wind noise and hopefully you guys will be able to hear me. But I wanted to show you this tree. Uh, you can still see lots of insects and honeybees and various types of native bees working this bush despite the wind. Uh, I first took notice of this shrub oh, a few weeks ago when I was in this yard. Um, and I wasn't quite sure what it was. It has aster-like aster-like blossoms on some of them. There's one down here that's more tube-like and I'll show you that. But Groundsel is in the aster family. It's actually, it's not a weed, it is a woody shrub. And the bees work it really hard this time of year. Uh, doing mite washes in other yards, I had several that had a very pungent odor. And I noticed as I was collecting bees to do mite washes that I was getting a nectar shake which a nectar shake toward the end of October is kind of unusual. And it reeked, it smelt like vinegar. Um, I wasn't sure maybe if it was something spoiled, but yard after yard after yard we would go to and we would get nectar shakes and have this vinegar smell. So it had me look more around at what was blooming. The only things that I could find blooming were purple aster, the small asters, and this, this groundsel. Um, it didn't, didn't take me long to narrow it down to this groundsel because, yeah, you can smell that it's a very pungent, vinegary, really off-putting odor that th this shrub puts off. It's just foul. It's the only way I can describe it. It's just a foul smell. But the bees seem to really like it. And I'm very happy that they do. Uh, I've noticed this stuff since I've been looking for it. It's popping up everywhere. I'm seeing it all down the highways, uh, around overpasses where they have riprap, it's just popping up through the, the rock, the riprap there, uh, all along the highway fences. I'm seeing shrub after shrub after shrub. Um, just never occurred to me how dense it was. Um, I believe this is the same stuff here, but the blossoms just slightly different. really pungent stuff um, but you can see more back there in the shrub it just grows uh, pretty much anywhere in the brush and apparently it puts on a pretty decent nectar flow I don't know if this is something that I've missed years prior uh, or just not paid attention to because of the time of year um, but wanted to share with you guys I like learning about plants I like knowing what my bees are working and getting out into the field and tracking them down finding what's going on so with that this is the groundsel shrub you guys enjoyed that.